Have you ever wondered if a day could suddenly become shorter? Not by hours or minutes, but by a mere second. Well, this intriguing possibility is now on the horizon. In this video, we'll explore a groundbreaking discovery that might lead to the first ever negative leap second in history. We'll dive into how scientists reach this conclusion, why it's a big deal, and what it means for our understanding of time. So if you're curious about how a single second could shake up the world, stay tuned. The leap second is a fascinating concept that plays a crucial role in our understanding of time. It's an adjustment made to Coordinated Universal Time, UTC, to keep our clocks in sync with the Earth's rotation. Historically, we've added positive leap seconds, but now scientists are considering a negative leap second for the first time in history. But why do we need leap seconds? Our planet doesn't rotate at a constant speed. It fluctuates due to various factors like the gravitational pull of the moon and the movement of its molten core. To ensure that our timekeeping is accurate, leap seconds are added or subtracted to account for these variations. Without them, our clocks would gradually drift away from solar time. The concept of a leap second was introduced in the early 1970s when atomic clocks became the standard for international timekeeping. These clocks are incredibly precise, but they don't account for the Earth's variable rotation. Since then, 27 positive leap seconds have been added to keep UTC aligned with universal time, UT, which is based on the Earth's rotation. The introduction of a negative leap second, however, is uncharted territory. It would mean our clocks skip a second, moving from 2359, 58 straight, to 000000. This adjustment is being considered because recent measurements show that the Earth is rotating slightly faster than usual. If this trend continues, a negative leap second might be necessary to prevent our clocks from getting ahead of solar time. The decision to add a leap second, whether positive or negative, is made by the International Earth Rotation and Reference System Service, ERs, based on precise measurements of the Earth's rotation. The potential addition of a negative leap second is a testament to the dynamic nature of our planet and the ongoing efforts to keep our timekeeping as accurate as possible. The Earth's rotation is influenced by a myriad of factors, making it a complex and ever-changing phenomenon. One of the most significant influences is the gravitational pull of the Moon, which causes the Earth to bulge slightly at the equator. This bulge creates a torque that slows down the Earth's rotation, a process known as tidal friction. However, the Earth's rotation can also be affected by events such as earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, which can redistribute the planet's mass and alter its rotational speed. For example, the massive 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake was so powerful that it slightly shifted the Earth's mass, resulting in a small but measurable change in the planet's rotation. Another factor is the melting of glaciers and ice caps due to global warming. As ice melts and water redistributes, the Earth's mass distribution changes, which can lead to variations in its rotation. This redistribution of mass is similar to a figure skater spinning faster when they pull their arms in closer to their body. The recent observation that the Earth is spinning faster is not entirely understood, but scientists believe it could be due to a combination of these factors. The precise measurement of the Earth's rotation is made using atomic clocks and very long baseline interferometry, VLBI, which tracks the position of quasars in distant galaxies. The implications of a faster spinning Earth are far-reaching. It affects everything from the length of a day to the functioning of satellite navigation systems. The potential need for a negative leap second highlights the importance of continuously monitoring the Earth's rotation and adapting our timekeeping systems to maintain accuracy. The prospect of introducing a negative leap second presents a unique set of challenges for global timekeeping systems and technology. Unlike positive leap seconds, which have been added 27 times since 1972, a negative leap second is uncharted territory. 
it would require clocks to skip a second, a change that could have unforeseen consequences on various systems that rely on precise timekeeping. One of the primary concerns is the impact on computer systems and networks. Many systems are programmed to expect a positive leap second, which is added at the end of the day. A negative leap second, on the other hand, would require these systems to adjust by skipping a second, a scenario that could potentially lead to errors or disruptions. Another area of concern is the effect on satellite navigation systems, such as GPS. These systems rely on extremely accurate timekeeping to determine positions. A sudden change in time, even by a second, could result in inaccuracies in positioning data. The financial sector is also sensitive to changes in timekeeping. Stock exchanges and trading platforms use precise timestamps to record transactions. A negative leap second could potentially disrupt the timing of trades and affect financial markets. To address these challenges, international timekeeping authorities and organizations are closely monitoring the Earth's rotation and conducting simulations to understand the potential impact of a negative leap second. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of a potential leap in time. The possibility of a negative leap second reminds us of the intricate dance between timekeeping and the natural world. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the universe, each discovery, no matter how small, helps us better understand the cosmos we inhabit. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the wonders of our universe.